So now that you have the iModel importer installed, what are the basics for getting this thing to do something for me? First, what you need to do is create a new file. Then you can start importing the data from any iModel. iModels can be created from both Revit and Ecosim Building Designer, and similar data comes from each. So the first thing you would want to do is, is import iModel data, which is this first button. And then you need to select an iModel. If you're inside of ProjectWise, you can log in to ProjectWise and open an iModel from there, or you can also open them from a disk. Uh, for this example, I am going to open a project that I had a while ago. So I'm going to open up this I model and it's going to read the data and once it uh, has the path in the in the address bar then the next thing you need to do is select a source schema depending on how your I models were created there may be multiple files that the I models were created from using uh, iModel Composer, uh, if we have to stitch them together, uh, if they're usually if they're done with Ecosim Building Designer, you'll typically only have one, or if the Revit model was a single Revit file with all of the data in it, then there also would only be one real schema in here. For this example, I am going to go to the structural model, and I'm going to pick the columns and the framing. And from this, I can import the, sol the selected. And now I have two columns, or two uh, tabs in Excel that have the data, the, uh, all of the structural columns and all the structural framing. Another method I could use to import data would be, say, I wanted everything, or uh, the architectural. I could create a list, so maybe on this one I wanted doors, and I'm going to add that to the list, and I want windows, and I'm going to add that to the list, and walls, and add that to the list. And if I decide uh, maybe I don't want them late, you know, I can always remove those from the list too. So this tool allows you to create a list. Let's see what I have. I had walls, doors, windows. I'm going to try another schema, maybe over mechanical. Nope, you can only do one at a time. So from one source, doors, wall, doors, walls, windows, and I'm going to import from the list. Now I have the uh, data that I'm wanting to work with. I'm going to hit finished. And now I have all of the columns, the structural framing, the doors, the walls, and the windows, uh, the data accessible to me.